Hi everyone, welcome to Wiki channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, let hit that subscribe button because I'm making a lot of interesting videos on my channel. This video is all about Vivo V9 and how you can take really beautiful images on this Vivo V9. So this is a really beautiful phone and you have got the pleiotrop settings inside the camera user interface so you can utilize it properly to get that really extra detailed pictures. So we shall go through all of the settings and I'll show you how you can utilize this camera user interface to its maximum extent. So let's take a look at it. So this is the camera user interface this is the default interface as you just open the camera you will get to see this there is a take photo mode and we are right into it now so you can see there are quite different settings over here the first thing we shall take a look at is the setting just if you tap on it you will have all these settings here this is the timer of 3 seconds timer 10 second timer and you have this normal full and square in order to change the view size see there is one problem with this phone uh, that they have not uh, properly implemented is the fact that uh, you don't get to change the resolution of the images at all so say if you want to change if you want to downgrade to 8 megapixels or something like that you just uh, cannot do that so you have this normal full and square that's about it so there is no separate settings in the setting itself for the camera so you have to stick to this normal or full or square mode so right now as you can see just I tap on the normal you can utilize this 19 is to 9 aspect ratio fully by tapping on that uh, full mode and if you want to share your pictures on Instagram or other social media what you can do is to just tap on the square and you get instant square images click on any picture and boom you have the square image directly you don't have to again crop and do such things and all so that's how you quickly capture the square image and the other thing is there is a touch voice and palm control so you can uh, use your voice or a palm or a touch feature to capture the picture instantly so there is a storage mode to select SD card and phone storage obviously and you have this time watermark and model watermark so there is no absolutely customizable feature in order to give your name as a watermark on this Vivo V9 unfortunately that is uh, the disappointing thing that I talked about in my video earlier if you haven't watched that so only you can set a time watermark and model watermark that's it so then there is this sound if you want to get that shutter button sound you can just tap on it and make it yellow to get it enabled there is this geographic locations if you want to tag that say you are in this location particular location if you want to tag the location you just tap on it and share your location with the picture the other thing is the framing lines so there is only one grid line you can opt for in other phones for example Huawei's Honor 9 Lite or uh, say a lot of other phones give you option to customize this grid as well but that's not the case on the Vivo V9 so we shall switch to full mode so that you get the viewing pleasure properly so the next setting is this mode here as you can see four square mode is what I call you have the ability to capture slow motion but unfortunately they have uh, not provided 720 pixel only you can capture is up to 640 by 480 pixels of resolution uh, which is uh, not so worthy I guess so here's a little sample shot of the 480 pixels uh, slow motion video so you can just tap on it and it will capture the other option is the time lapse you can capture time lapse uh, which is a great thing that is available on this uh, camera here the other thing is the ultra hd mode what you can uh, get is the really great images on this ultra hd mode so but in order to get that extra uh, detailed image you have to have very stable hands otherwise you'll get blurry pictures but still while capturing landscapes and other things like that see the ultra hd mode will give you really sharp and detailed images all over so that's how you can use the ultra hd mode if you want to just go back to normal just tap on this cross mark and you will be back to take photo mode again the next thing here is the live photo what it basically does is it captures a little short clip uh, with the audio so that you can view it as a gif or sort of like that so that's the live view just will capture and show you for example if i tap on this and uh, here you go so just tap and hold like this and as you can see there is little movement it will actually capture the before frames of the uh, whatever image here it is and it will give you as a live photo the next thing is the bokeh mode this is the very famous and what this time they have done is I'll just show you to uh, from other location we shall move further here 
I'll show you demonstrate this feature. So the another setting is this bokeh mode. You can just activate it by tapping on this and it shows that it says within two meters it uh, performs really well. So just as you can see that there is a small leaves branch over here and if I tap on that tap to focus will get activated and as you can see there is a small number here of 0.95 and they have given you a slider to move it upward and downward so if you keep moving upward the numbers will reduce f2.0 and something uh, lower than that so the lesser the number you get the more background across the picture and only the subject will be in focus just like as if you are capturing on a dslr camera and setting the aperture value but this is just a software implementation not hardware wise but still you can uh, get a lot of blurred picture with the uh, blur background and the uh, subject in focus so just i'll show you now tap on the picture to focus and I'll reduce the number to around say around f 2.0 just tap on this and boom as you can see now the subject is absolutely in proper focus and there is a lot of uh, uh, blurriness going on around the frame so this is how you capture you use the and one interesting feature what they have given is you can later after capturing the image you can tap on this portrait bokeh and again you can change the number in order to bring everything in focus or say only for some part of the uh, frame in focus see just you can tap around and how the image changes its focus so these are the very interesting things they have implemented this time on the vivo v9 but i still say that they have not implemented very neatly uh, but still for uh, some purposes you can use these modes so this was the portrait bokeh the next thing is the hdr say that uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, bright subject upper the frame and uh, the dark subjects are lower the frame what you can do is you can compensate that using this high dynamic range mode so you can set it off you can switch it on permanently or you can leave it to auto mode so this is how you can set the high dynamic range the other setting is this flash you can permanently switch on the flash switch off or in auto so these are the settings available on the auto mode so there is one small uh, circles here if you tap on that you get the live filters where you can change to get some really interesting filters just like uh, have how it is available on many other phones so you can use that uh, funky filters if you just remove this filter and uh, you swipe around you get to video mode you get to ER stickers and one interesting thing is that in the video section you get to capture 4k video footage from this vivo v9 which is an awesome thing for a phone like this so there's not a lot of tweaking things you can do but still you can capture at higher frame rates to get very nice and detailed shots of any subject so that's the 4k for you and if i just swipe around you will get to face beauty and you can use this face beauty to capture uh, some really close up shots of any particular subject to get that extra blur see again you can compensate uh, with exposure value like this up and down and then tap on the picture to get in focus and boom capture so this vivo v9 can really capture good macros as well and if you swipe around you get to the professional mode this is uh, what makes this uh, phone really interesting because you have the uh, live view mode wherein whenever you change the any of these settings it will live show you how the picture will come after you take the picture so that's a very neat thing they have given if you just tap on this there is a electro level meter so you get the electrometer to decide on the horizon so you will know that the horizon is proper and in line so you can capture really nice composition pictures using electro level meter the next thing is this uh, white balance say you are in indoor and you are not getting proper colors you can just change to other white balance and see which color is accurate one useful feature is missing is that you cannot customize the auto white balance number so white balance number cannot be customized to your uh, liking but still they have given some default modes you can just opt for that so the next setting is this shutter speed you can set the shutter speed to a various value just tap on it and here you have the auto from 1 by 2000 to you have all the way up to 16 seconds see as i change the shutter speed how live view it will show me how the picture is going to come after i click the picture so this is a neat thing you have if you have any faster movement subjects like uh, say sports photography you are doing and you want to keep the number to be on the higher side that means 1 by 1000 1 by 1200 and such setting 
the next thing is the iso i prefer to leave it to auto and i suggest you to do that because of the fact that you get uh, some grainy images if you keep changing the iso and uh, let the camera decide the iso it will decide properly and give you the iso value so it will live show you what iso it is choosing for this particular image the next one is here the exposure value we can compensate the exposure value like this uh, say that uh, you are in a dark situation dark environment you want to compensate the exposure value you can just bring it a little bit of light on that and uh, not overflowing the image you can just capture the picture to get that really nice uh, image the next thing is this autofocus uh, see just like i how i said that you can capture really great macros on this uh, uh, vivo v9 just you can manually bring it to flower mode here and uh, you see how closely i can get to the image and you still get the sharper image of these leaves so that's how macro works you can just rotate the slider to wherever you want to focus so that's a neat feature which is available on this vivo v9 in order to get to the default just tap on this and everything will be again in default so these are the really interesting features and settings that vivo v9 has provided hope this video helps uh, you take better pictures uh, and stay tuned for more uh, awesome contents on this channel if you like this video please hit that like button and do subscribe to my channel see you all in the next video take care bye bye